Hi there, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to be bringing you my TBR for the Reading Rush Readathon for 2019. This was formerly known as Book Tubeathon, and they decided to kind of give it a new facelift. Uh, the hosts are going to be Ariel and Raylene, and there are six challenges. I picked about three books for my TBR since it's only running from the July 22nd to the 28th. That's just a week. I don't see myself reading more than that, and I won't even really finish all these, but these will be books I'll be. Um, choosing for these various challenges. Uh, you can always double up or triple up on the challenges and that's what I'll definitely be doing for this um, readathon. So to get started, one of the first challenges is read a novel with purple on the cover and for that I picked Ian Reed's uh, sophomore novel, this is called Foe. I previously read I'm Thinking of Ending Things. Um, it was pretty funny when I did a review of that for my channel and labeled it I'm Thinking of Ending Things. Everyone thought I was ending my channel. <laughs> anyway, there's some uh, purple on this guy there, and so I've chosen this one. It's fairly thin, so it's something I hope I'll be able to get through. I'm going to read you the synopsis because I can't just describe it after what I've read here. It's a, it's kind of confusing. It just says, in Re Ian Reed's second haunting philosophical puzzle of a novel set in the near future, Junior and Henrietta live in a comfortable, isolated life on the farm, far away from city lights, but in close quarters with each other. One day, a stranger from the city arrives with alarming news. Junior has been randomly selected to travel far away from the farm. Very far away. The most unusual part, arrangements have already been made so that when he leaves, Henrietta won't have a chance to miss him because she won't be left alone. Not even for a moment. Henrietta will have company. Familiar company. Uh, it doesn't say much more than that. It just says it's a, it's a sharp, evocative style. Foe examines the nature of domestic relationships, self-determination, and what it means to be or not to be a person. An eerily entrancing page turner, it churns with unease and suspense from the first words to its shocking finale. Uh, so, yeah, I really enjoyed um, thinking of anything, so I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, the next challenge is read a novel with, uh, read a novel and watch the adaptation. And I'm already reading this particular book for a read along on Steve Donahue's channel. This is the last of the Palliser novels. This is uh, The Duke's Children by Anthony Trollope. It's quite a chunker, hence um, I say I will not be finishing all of these books. Um, but there happens to be a TV adaptation of this available on YouTube. In fact, the entire Palliser series is available. And it's, I think the Duke's Children is in three parts. So I'm going to be reading this and watching that adaptation off of YouTube. And then for the final group of challenges, there's read a novel in the same spot, read an author's debut novel, uh, read a novel with a non-human main character, and read a novel with five or more words in the title. So yes, I'm cramming all these together in one book. And that is The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making by Catherine M. Valente. Now, this isn't technically her debut novel, but it does say in the back um, that it is her uh, children's book debut. So, uh, yeah, so for young reader, uh, this is her first young reader book. So I'm going to go with it. I'm going to lose them here. But there is, um, I'll just read the synopsis for you. It's pretty quick. It just says, September is a girl who longs for adventure. When she is invited to Fairyland by a green wind and a leopard, well, of course she accepts. Mightn't you? But Fairyland is in turmoil, and it will take one 12-year-old girl, a book-loving dragon, there's the non-human, and a strange and almost human boy named Saturday to vanquish an, an evil Marquess and restore order. Not since Oz has there been a land or a cast of characters so rich and entrancing. So it's another kind of thin little novel. This is the one I'll be reading in one spot, um, which will more than likely be in bed. Uh, because it's a young reader's book in Texas. Fairly, you know, spaced. Uh, I should be able to get through it fairly quickly. So I'm hoping to at least finish these two and then watch the adaptation and read my way through as much as I can of the Duke's Children within that one week. So that is my TBR for the Reading Rush Readathon for 2019. Uh, if you guys participating in it, let me know down below. And I'll put links to the host's channel and challenges down below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.